We're Lauren and Scott, and we are cycling 10,000 kilometres across Europe. Starting in Greece, the plan is to cycle to the west coast of Ireland. Passing through 15 countries, we cycle through some of the most magical landscapes Europe has to offer. So join us on our first ever bike tour as we learn to navigate the European cycling networks, oh. encounter all weather conditions, and overindulge in our favourite baked goods. Mine's so crunchy. For our final episode in Greece, our navigation problems continue. We're now going the wrong way, and we're going back to the highway. We have a few more run-ins with Greek dogs. <coughs> We feel ourselves with Eros. Oh yeah. And get lucky with a wild camp spot. Oh, wasn't it? Oh. oh, she's just lost it. Head over a biscuit. Good morning. It is day five on the bike. It's day five on the bike. Pretty sure it is. Last night we spent um, the night with a beautiful English lady we met along the way. Hi Jo, if you're watching. Um, we found an awesome camp spot just by the water and we had a really good sleep because it was not noisy or anything. It was really nice and quiet. Um, it was just the sounds of goats all, all night. We just had brekkie in this beautiful town named Astokos and it's definitely the best town we've been in. I don't know what made it the best. Maybe because it had a little bit of vibe because there was a few people around. Um, went to the supermarket and bought, I didn't didn't know if it was milk or yogurt it turns out it was drinking yogurt and had some really crunchy granola in it yum and delicious um, and then we set off ready to go and Scott forgot to strap his um, pannier rack on so it fell off the back and dragged along the road so good job Scott <laughs> good start to the day this is very hard for me to film this because the GoPro is attached to chesty I'm picking it up off my chest but look at this view brilliant brilliant there's Lauren I think it's a Yastikos, but I can't show you that. But there's the view again. How good is that? Little boat, heading to one of the islands, do a bit of fishing probably. Splendid. Just on a descent into Matsiki. On a very quiet road along the side of a mountain. She'll be coming down the descent soon. She goes down a bit slower than me. Just for safety, she's a bit nervous, but she smashes it. Gets better every time. Ah, oh, here she is. Yeah, yeah. How'd you go? Some of that was really steep, wasn't it? That was fun, wasn't it? Oh! Oh, she's just lost it. Head over a biscuit. Oh, goodness. I was thinking, why did we even want to cycle in Norway when we can come to rest? Yeah, pretty much. It was really cool. Just a little bit steeper. A little bit steep, yeah. Good though. Just made it into Mitikis. That's a nice mountain. What a beautiful spot. Lunchtime, 12 o'clock, ass is sore. Knees hurting a bit, so. Can't grow gear off. Gee whiz, that's nice. Ain't that impressive? Let's find a place to have lunch. A restaurant near me. Oh yeah, we're not quite there yet. Let's go have a Greek feast. We headed to Barda's Tavern that was highly recommended to us. They treated us to a big Greek feast and also allowed us to pitch our tent for the night. Good morning. It's day five. We're about 15 kilometers from Alifachia. day six. Day six. It's absolutely pouring. Lightning. Thunderstorm. Yeah. All day they reckon, they got the forecast right this time. But we have 15 kilometres minimum to ride to our accommodation. This doesn't sound far. Doesn't it's sound up far. A up a mountain. And we're not very good on the bike in wet conditions yet, so we're very reluctant. But I suppose we'll have to get going soon. It might take us a while. But the rain's going to stop in like an hour and a half, so hopefully it stops then and then we can do a quick 15 kilometres. Anyway, gotta go. Battery's going flat. <laughs> so you know, I'm a full GR. In the end, it didn't rain as much as it was forecasted, but as you can see with the sun out, we decided to do some washing and also some grocery shopping. Today's day seven and we're still in Miniti. It's about 7.30 in the morning and we're gonna go to Artros Artropolis Coffee, get a loaf of bread and some coffees hopefully. We bought the bread yesterday and it was the best out I've ever had. 
so good. So we're going to go get some more for our little lunch or dinner tonight. And uh, we should be leaving about 10, 10.30. We've got to watch the football first, haven't we? Looks like it's going to be a nice day though, because it's freezing this morning. So no Blue sky, though. Sky. Good riding day. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I think you tried to eat your leg just now. <laughs> it looks like he's going. Good morning. We have left Maniti quite late. Um, 20 past 10 actually. We did stop watching the football slash not watching the football because the Wi-Fi wasn't strong enough. We have turned off the main road for the first time in maybe three days or two days. Um, onto this fun little goat track side road thing. Supposedly going to take us through some wetlands down to the coast. Finish saying that. We are now going the wrong way, and we're going back to the highway. The course, wow, all right, what a road. Then you're down. That's it. Which way now? I suppose what goes up must come down. Just uh, wrapped up, so I've been busy this highway we've been in Greece, having our usual lunch. Not well, having campers. A million cars go past us at about 100, 100 kilometers an hour. And we still have... And they're like honking each other, and the soil is terrible. We still have about like 10 kilometers to go until the year of LA joins up again. Oh my goodness, so loud. Who even knows if the year of LA is going to be any better than this? The reason we are out here is because we tried to go take farm road and the dogs weren't playing nice this morning. He was guarding the whole road and he looked at us and he looked too scared and I didn't want to pass him so we just went to the highway and went the wrong way around but it turned out to be busy. a bad decision. <laughs> oh well. So we're using our panniers as a table. We're having banana and peanut butter. Right, delicious. And Nutella. And I'm definitely ready to get off this road. Mm. Look at that goodness. just come off the busy highway and found this baby footpath. Boy oh boy we've seen it all. People are overtaking people on like big sweeping bends, you can't like mine corners. Scott reckons he's found a Euros place up here. We finished our Nutella wrap maybe five minutes ago but <laughs> went in Greece. <laughs> oh I'm really hoping that, that highway's over. This is, this is like, <laughs> where am I going? No. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. We changed from the highway. 
This is beautiful. I'm really going up, but not with all the trucks, we're not. Individually laid bricks. He's coming up on this coastal road. Went past some huge like mansions. Lucky for us, these convenience stores are actually very frequent in Greece. It was easy for us to get fresh water and snacks whenever we wanted. I just smashed him up here. I'm definitely king of the mountain today. We still have more to go. But some kind of like, no, monastery looking churchy thing. It has the most magical view. Get up here. <coughs> wow. Look at that. Now, Brandy, very sick. Our bikes again. Maybe this turn's gonna be the top. Wish we've only gone left one to me. <laughs> so crazy. I never last me. If you can believe it, we made it up the mountain. That was so steep. <sighs> Tell you what, I hope we find a camping spot. Why am I so worried about that? There's so many. Anyway, yeah. we've made it back to the highway that we were excited to leave about two hours ago. But we're back. We're on for long. Let's go find a campsite. We just came down um, a dirt road that lasted quite a bit, very gravelly. And this is what it looks like when we're trying to find somewhere to camp, is me standing with bikes and Scott running off looking for spots. <laughs> Although we just saw the most beautiful view. There's a little viewing platform over there. I have to go to our Instagram to see that because I've got to film on the way over there. <laughs> I was just thinking about how overrun this would be in Australia because it's like perfect distance from a town. It's like it's been used as a camping spot quite a few times. It's a beautifully flat spot. A few little, and some pine trees. A few little branches here and there on the ground. A bit of toilet paper and stuff around. I definitely feel like it's probably a van spot as it goes out there. Just not bad, not bad. Today we did 93 kilometers and probably over a thousand meters elevation gain. Got a wild camp spot around the corner and we have the most magnificent cliff face view that we've possibly ever seen. Nearly rivaling those ones in Western Australia. Have a look at these mountains right on the ocean too. There's some big mountains in the background, which I think we'll be riding to towards tomorrow before we head into Albania. So we spent the last seven days riding in Greece and we should have done about 700 kilometers by the time we enter Albania. Uh, we have some accommodation booked in Sarande, but we'll spend three nights there. So it'd be good to relax a bit and uh, get the legs to recover a bit more because we're pretty tired after today. Greece has been super impressive and these views, they haven't been often enough because we've just come to the coast. They are magnificent when you get to them. Cheers, Greece. How's your time been in Greece? Greece has been a real mixed bag. Some really cool parts and some really not that fun like today we rode like 50 kilometers on a highway then we got down to the coast and it was beautiful and we had this cool little campsite so real mixed bag all around good i'd say <laughs> it has been good <laughs> we got a delicious cheap euros halfway through the day that was great um that really picked the mood up from riding on the highway and we had nutella on sourdough for dinner it was delicious good morning we're day nine of cycling here, um, just out of Lutzer, which camped last night. 
It was nice and quiet night, which was lovely. We, it's a Friday night, so we were a bit worried that some youths would come. But no one came in the end. Yeah, it was good. And today we're headed to Sagiada. Sagiada, yep. Four kilometres from the Albanian border. We will cross tomorrow. It's our last day in Greece. Full day in Greece. Hopefully it's a good one. Yeah. Hopefully the highways aren't too busy. The sun's out. <clears throat> and we're supposedly going on a side road to the highway um, shortly. So mm, We'll see. <laughs> we'll get a gear us too. Last one in Greece. Yum. Little garden. Just left here. Coming down this descent. Amazing views. But it's so cold. My head is like steaming. It actually hurts. Just so much. Where are you guys? I don't know. I actually felt sick. Oh, the sun though. I'm gonna really put my jacket on. They had meat and they were very nice as well. Now we're just riding along the water along the Civil Schlangel Path before we head out of town and head towards camp. Pretty much it in the Welcome to our last day in Greece. <laughs> We have just come down to a campsite just outside of Sagiada. I think we're about four k's from the Albanian border, um, so pretty close. We've actually had a really good day of riding. Um, the roads have been, the shoulders have been wide and the traffic has been friendly, so that's good. Um, and we went through a nice like farmland coming into Sagiada, um, which was also very flat and good riding. Um, so we're gonna off to find our last campsite here in Greece before waking up early and crossing into the Albanian border. And tomorrow we're expecting some rain. We do have an Airbnb booked and so we can check in whenever we want. So we're gonna go nice and early and um, get in before the rain, hopefully. 